A group of about 40 classic car enthusiasts are in the Poconos this week. They're visiting popular spots in the area like Jim Thorpe and the Steamtown National Historic Site. Photojournalist Tom Gregory caught up with the North Carolina Horseless Carriage Club as it got ready for its first venture this morning in Bartonsville. Oh yeah, it doesn't have a starter on it. You gotta crank it by, by hand in front. It's a 1913 Model T frame, and most of the car is 1913, it's, but we pulled it out of a heap of parts in 1961. And, but it's a good old car. It'll do 70 miles an hour when it's tuned up and running right. 61 in this car is like going 100 miles an hour in any other car. You got no windshield, no doors, nothing to hold on to. We do once a year. We travel and, and usually the third week in July and we'll go about four to five hundred miles during the week. I hadn't been back to the Poconos since I was in service and I was stationed up at uh, the depot up at uh, Toby Hanna. This is a 1924 Marmon, M-A-R-M-O-N. When this car was new it was $3,195 where you could buy a T model for $400. This is your light switch of course, this is your Uga horn. I've never been north of the Mason-Dixon line in my life but one time. So this is time number two. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of nice people. And of course, the people is what makes it nice. We really just come just to ride around and do a lot of eating and see a lot of other people with old cars. That's our main thing. Wait, they made them the last in those days, huh? The club is staying at the Baymont Inn and Suites in Bartonsville during their one week visit. Members use trailers to move the cars during long trips from down south, and then they drive in their classic cars all along the stops on the visit.